Welcome back. The revolutionary cystic fibrosis treatment, Trikafta, has been approved by Health Canada, but the thousands of Canadians living with the condition are feeling anxious about their future after finding out draft recommendations will significantly limit who will be eligible for the drug. We are joined this morning by Dr. Elizabeth Tolis, the head of the Toronto Adult Cystic Fibrosis Clinic at the University of Toronto with more on this new treatment. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Bob. Thank you for inviting me to come and speak about this important issue. Absolutely. First off, a quick primer on cystic fibrosis. How many Canadians are impacted and um, how do they suffer specifically? Yeah, so there's over 4,000 people with CF with this condition. And it's a, a condition that involves the entire body. So it's due to thick mucus in the body. So people have recurrent lung infections, they have sinus infections, there's digestive tract issues, their, their, you know, their organs, their liver, their gallbladder, their um, you know, pancreas is all involved. And people have recurrent lung infections that cause damage to the lungs, which ultimately leads to death unless a lung transplant um, occurs. Okay, now this new treatment, Trichafta, is being called a game changer. Why, what does it do? So traditionally, all our treatments to date have all dealt with the downstream consequences of the illness. So we have drugs to kill bacteria, we have drugs to thin mucus. But Trichafta is actually working upstream and it is actually fixing the defect that's seen in CF. And by fixing the defect, it's hopefully preventing the downstream consequences. So we've really changed to sort of, you know, working on damage that's already happened to trying to prevent damage from happening. So that's the paradigm shift. Okay, now there's two sisters from Bimbrook who have, uh, it's uh, Michaela and Madison Bianchin, and they've actually been spokespersons for Cystic Fibrosis Canada, but they're back in the news because they're directly impacted by this. Michaela qualifies for Trichafta, Madison does not because she has 95% lung capacity. So this is, as you just mentioned, this is a progressive disease. You would think you'd want to treat everybody yeah. out of the gate. Exactly. So, you know, the whole point here is you want to fix things before they're damaged. And so that would suggest starting treatment as early as possible. And the initial recommendations by Cadeth have said that only people will be eligible if their lung function is below 90% predicted. So that's kind of like saying, well, we'll treat your cancer when it gets bigger and maybe spreads, or if to not use a medical um, metaphor, we'll put oil in your car after your engine seized up. Yeah, so, it just doesn't seem to make sense. Exactly, and there's this sort of ethical dilemma, you know, in a family to have two siblings and one has access to the medication and the other. Yeah, the Biancans are a perfect example of that. Now, yeah. the acronym you mentioned, so that's the Canadian Agency for Drugs and Technologies. They're being accused of not understanding cystic fibrosis. Well, I think that's a, maybe a little harsh. I think they do understand the illness, um, but I do think that this recommendation doesn't even it doesn't even follow what their um, the rest of the document says that 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 they they recognize CF, but for some reason they're deciding that only people who are more severely affected will get the medication, and it, they they have approved other um, drugs like this in CF, but only only a small percent of the population has has access to them, and for those ones they've actually had no restrictions. So I think we need to kind of go back to that paradigm of everyone who's eligible should have access. Right. Is there a big cost hurdle here? Well, the drug is expensive. Um, the and, and so, of course, cost always plays a role. Um, however, as not a health economic uh, expert, but as a CF doctor and, and somebody who does research in, in clinical trials in CF, I can say that this drug really is effective. It, it is it is incredible and in the 30 years of being a CF doctor I've never seen anything like this. Well, we'll leave it at that good news and we'll link up the website for Cystic Fibrosis Canada so people can advocate for this and, and hopefully uh, again this is a draft so hopefully we have a better resolution here but thank you so much for joining us Dr. Elizabeth Tolis with the adult CF clinic at the University of Toronto. Thanks again so much. Thanks for your interest. Bye -bye.